Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Dependent Estate Agents and I hope you're well. Today I want to just talk about um, the November market where we are now leading into spring in 2023 because I think there are some very, very good opportunities for home buyers and sellers. Now obviously people are going to wait for the autumn fiscal statement from the government on the 17th of November because they want to see how that affects their mortgages, jobs, security and whatnot. But here I see lies the opportunity and this is how I believe the housing market will work because it's going to be a buyer's and a seller's market still. It's going to be propped up because of stock and well-located homes will always sell. But here becomes the opportunity because when people start to put their property on the market, we're now encouraging them to start thinking about it and get ahead of that curve. Because if the market makes some changes next year, let's say it's going into February, March of the spring, and you're in a position where you're sold, that strengthens your hand in terms of your negotiation. Obviously, then you become a buyer and you want the best choice and these properties will come on, but you also want to negotiate a fair rate. Now, an estate agent will do that. We put, we're there to protect the interest of the client. So our clients will then go out to buy a property that they think is affordable and it's affordable from A to B. So I think that's where the karma market will become because everybody will know where they stand. People will know that prices haven't risen dramatically. They also know they haven't dropped dramatically. And here's something I've looked at. I've looked at most economists' predictions over the last five years. And out of all of those economists, none of them have been right. All of them have been wrong. So we just just got to look at it without the sensationalist views of the newspapers and the press and whatnot and take a view on where you are as a family, if you need to move because you get a, a, success, a successful job application, new child, you need more space, or you downsize, you don't need so much space with the cost of their living, um, you wanna move over to a different area. You know, there's all sorts of reasons why people will always move and that's always gonna be the case. But I still think it's a great opportunity because I would prefer to know where we all stand. I would prefer to know what I'm gonna sell my property for and how much will I be able to buy my next property for without the worry of pricing. Estate agents now up and down the country are not gonna be overvaluing. There might be a few, but they're never gonna sell these properties and they're not gonna do their clients any favors. Realistic pricing will be very important. And the clever people, the people that get it and they understand about moving from A to B and is it affordable and they put theirs on the market first, they're gonna catch those properties coming into that market, especially in the spring and the summer next year. And so it's gonna be more resilient than people think. So I just want you to think ahead. Obviously, like I said, there's, you know, they're trying to get an accurate forecast um, with this autumn statement. Um, you know, we've got a new prime minister, a new chancellor as such. So that's gonna play its part. Then we're gonna get sandwiched by Christmas. But I've now got clients asking me to get valuations in now, prepping for next year. And I just wonder, I just wonder if they'll catch that market at the right time. They'll become the best sellers or the best buyers also. And they'll be able to pick up those properties and get ahead of the curve. So something to think about. It's um, it's a, it's an interesting, tricky market. We, we're here to navigate it. But I just want to give you some reassurance that it's not so bad um, and everything is equitable. But if you sell out, you buy out. There's just some bits that have been playing on my mind a little bit. And I just wanted to share that with you. Any questions, feel free just to drop me a line and just say hello. And um, we'll be back in touch soon.